Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. All right, that heavy band of snow has now moved into the Wasatch, snowing hard. It's also blowing up there 50 to 60, 70 miles an hour at times. Um, you can see the view there from solitude, that heavy snow, everybody packing up for the day, heading home. Alta has shut down for the rest of the day. High winds and heavy snow. Look at that view up there. Very low visibility with this heavy snow band. It's going to be an intense 12 to 18 hours as this slides through, and it's moving towards Colorado next. Here are my bullet points this afternoon. Here's what I'm seeing. So the Wasatch in for roughly one to two feet of snow between now and tomorrow morning, and then it lightens up, it tapers, turns lighter tomorrow on 3-3. Tetons, light to moderate snow ending tonight, and then a little bit of a dry period with snow coming back. Light to moderate snow tomorrow afternoon through 3-4, and then another heavy band of snow coming in 3-5 and 3-6. Colorado, you've got that heavy snow that's hitting the Wasatch now. It will hit Colorado. Um, that happens tonight through tomorrow morning, and then we'll just kind of settle into some light to moderate snow accumulation at times for tomorrow. Light snow on 3-4 and light snow on 3-5 for Colorado. Sierra continues to work on that big range of 5 to 10 feet all the way through the morning of the 5th. Powder Highway in Canada can expect another roughly 2 to 5 inches of snow between now and the morning of 3-4. In the northeast, the storm track for that 3-7, uh, 3-8 3 storm, which looked impressive this morning, has shifted now away from the major ski area. So we'll look at that coming up uh, here in just a few. But I want to take you back and show you water vapor satellite imagery this afternoon. Our big, big pinwheeling area of low pressure, our big trough is sitting right here. And it's going to start to make that pivot and you know, through Utah and into Colorado now. That's what's happening at this point. You look at that, that, uh, that band, that heavy band of snow. That's what hit the Tetons this morning. It's what hit Grand Targhee and shut everything down today. Uh, now that's moving into the Wasatch and eventually that'll move into Colorado. All right, let me show you what the jet's going to look like here. So that's the jet by the end of day today. A lot of this is just jet powered, this, this banding of snow. There it is on 3-3, close of day Monday. And then here comes the next storm system into the west coast and that will have an effect on the interior. It'll track towards the four corners. And that will have an effect, 3, 7, 3, 8, and 3, 9. And then here comes potentially another storm system behind that. Okay, here the, here's some precip on top of all of this. So that's the situation at 5.30 today. Heavy snow still across the Tetons. Also nailing the Wasatch and it's primed and getting ready to move into Colorado. Watch this. So overnight and tomorrow morning, that heavy band of snow is set up right across I-70. Um, Pitkin County is going to get nailed with this. It's going to be a big powder day tomorrow. And some of that may get blown down across the front range with these high winds tomorrow. We could have rain snow across the front range of Colorado. All right, here we go with 3-3 afternoon, continuing into 3-4, and then it lightens up. But here comes the next storm system into the west coast, and it's going to make its move 3-7. And also 3.8, there it is in Colorado on 3.7, end of day, and 3.8. A little bit of enhancement, but not as much as what we talked about this morning and certainly yesterday. And then here's your next storm system moving into the Pacific Northwest, 3.10, 3.11. Okay, let me just show you what I'm thinking here this afternoon as far as latest grand totals. Here's the latest map, and this is forecast grand totals as I see it by the end of the day on 3.11. So... Uh, potentially one to two, two and a half feet in the Wasatch, a couple of feet up there in the uh, the Tetons, and potentially two, three additional feet in the uh, the Sierra. Look at Colorado's numbers. Now that's from two different storm systems, so it doesn't all come at once, but potentially a couple of feet in a lot of areas in the central and northern mountains, less in the southern mountains. I mean, look at the bullseyes there, right across Vale, Snowmass, Aspen, Buttermilk, the highlands down to Crested Butte, and right on top of the, on the Continental Divide, Loveland A Basin, Winter Park could see a couple of feet. Of course, some of that comes from the second storm system, which does show enhancement on 7, 3, 7, and 3, 8. Breaking it down by time period, here's uh, the rest of today through tomorrow, through the end of day tomorrow. Again, roughly 1 to 2 feet for the Wasatch, uh, another 4 to 8 across uh, the Tetons, but a lot of that ends tonight. So that's falling as we speak. Um, in Colorado, looking at a foot, foot and a half in that purple shaded oval right there over Vail, Crested Butte, Aspen Snowmass. So big numbers and about a foot up on the Continental Divide, Loveland A Basin. So big powder day tomorrow. And this is that band, that heavy band of snow that came out of the Tetons. It's hitting the Wasatch and will now hit Colorado tonight.
Okay, next time period, 3-4 through 3-6. So that next storm system comes in in northern California, southern Oregon, and puts a stripe of snow across Sun Valley and another foot, foot and a half in the Tetons, 4-8 to eight in the Wasatch, and potentially 3-6 to six in Colorado. Okay, final time period, 3-7 through 3-11. So that, that final storm system with some enhancement crosses Colorado. And you can see the numbers are definitely bigger in Summit County on top of the Conval Divide and then down into southern Colorado as that storm spins up and then exits. And then there's that final storm around 3-10, 3-11, which hits the Pacific Northwest in B.C. And you can see the totals up there are larger. All right, one last stop. Look at the shift from this morning's update when when... It looked like we were going to get a bullseye of heavy snow. Now that storm track has shifted to the south and southeast, pulling all that heavy snow out of the forecast. That's how things can change quickly um, in, in long-range forecasting. All right, guys, we'll end on the grand total map for this afternoon. Again, grand totals by late 311, they're impressive. A couple of different storm systems will do this damage. Lots of heavy snow in Colorado, the Wasatch, Tetons, and in the Sierra. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this afternoon mountain weather update. Enjoy this big powder Sunday that we're going to see, and be safe and take care.